When you want to get something done in any community, it's important to partner with the trusted voices of those communities. In my opinion, there's not a more trusted voice in the black and brown communities other than their pastor. Well, if I can go back to March 2020, the most important job I had as a pastor was to help people in my congregation get vaccinated. We were able to partner with Sintera and we started to do vaccination clinics in local churches. And so with Sintera, did a clinic here on Easter Sunday where we vaccinated over 2,000 people. And we've done about 11 clinics here over the last several months. We know that the key to keeping people alive is getting them vaccinated. But I also know that that comes with conversation and relationships. It really kind of gets to the heart of what, what I consider to be holistic ministry. You know, the idea of just when we go to do a, a vaccination clinic or to vaccinate someone, see about taking their blood pressure, doing some, uh, some in-home screenings and, and other kinds of health-related services that you can bring to a community where people may not have access to them or may not think about it. How do you help individuals to escape the gravitational pull of all of these forces that keep people locked in poverty, that keep them shackled to poor health outcomes and other kinds of things. And so, so this just kind of goes beyond just vaccinations, but also a whole range of other things as you try to talk to people. You know, one thing we can't do uh, pre-intra or post-pandemic is do a one and done. So you have to be consistent and you have to be consistent when it's hard you know a priority for me a focus I mean this is like passionate to my heart is getting out into our communities and making those connections one day when I were out there we had this young lady who had already received one vaccine she was looking for her second um, she's riding around the community looking for us. We're about to cross the street and she stopped us in the middle of the road and she says, hey, I need to get my second vaccine. I've been riding around looking for you all. And so right there, cars are going around her. We're on the sidewalk, but our car is still like a little ways in the street and we stop and vaccinate her right there. I mean, I think that speaks volumes to what the community wants from us.